thing of doing a, a CTF in 24 hours on boxes that have arbitrary or hard exploits with things that might be just tweaked just a little bit here and there to make you learn to do something different than you would do if you were just step one, step two, step three. My mindset was kind of like, if I'm a hacker, there's no one who can take that away from me. So I have to be able to do this even if I'm not getting paid. And when I saw OFSEC was hands-on, you can't deny hands-on anything. And of course, man, I was already hacking, but when I took the OSCP, my skills progressed tremendously because these wow. courses are not like, oh, we're gonna teach you one, two, three. It's more like, we're gonna teach you how to think to find one, two, three. The OSCP was uh, the best hands-on cert uh, to get. Um, and so it was uh, purely, well, one of the reasons was purely to improve uh, my skills because I didn't have them when I, before I uh, enrolled in the cert. I also wanted a cert that would give me street cred. Um, even in my software development, um, uh, I, I guess, career, uh, a woman in a male-dominated field, you need to prove yourself. And so when I chose the certs, I chose them specifically to be um, hands-on certs. Uh, that would uh, be recognized uh, by the community and OSCP is, is definitely recognized in the community. I remember seeing the random string dot zero dot CS uh, mm -hmm. or dot out or dot command line. And I remember seeing those artifacts before I had taken that segment in the OSEP course, I was like, what are those things? And now just the day after, it was like really cool insight that I saw this at work. Personally, when I started with the PWK course, I only had a few months of uh, experience behind me. And when I say experience, I mean, um, that was a lot of self-study, uh, just trying to absorb and learn absolutely everything that I could get my hands on. Um, and it was quite intimidating. Um, I didn't have nearly the uh, requirements uh, that you're supposed to have when you start with the PWK and, you know, they're there for good reason. Uh, and I think personally what I lacked in, uh, you know, experience or knowledge, I kind of compensated for with just determination. I was like, well, I don't care. I'm going to do it. Um, <laughs> and uh, it took me uh, less than a year uh, until I was OCP certified. So it was a lot of hard work, blood, sweat and tears uh, and absolutely so worth it.